Hey friend, it is your Creative Weird Makeup Artist Pal Kat to bring you another video. Today we're going to do a monthly favorites. These are my favorite videos to film for a good reason. Before we get started, shout out to these people for leaving amazing, special, super nice comments. You guys know what to do if you want to be featured in the next video. And don't forget, every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, we do a Amazon Live show hanging out like pals, like if we're having a little fun sleepover with friends, but we are going through makeup products, just chit-chatting away. So you can definitely check out the link to that below on Tuesday evenings. And we have a P.O. box you can write me to and an Amazon wish list if you care to support my makeup studio even further. But this month, in January, there was a lot of favorites, like a lot. Makeup and non-makeup things. The first makeup product that it, I'm so late to this game, but the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, the dewy version, is so good. I forget how cheap this is. It's like $3 on sale on Amazon and how good this is. I absolutely love it. It's like a medium coverage. It's buildable. And I forgot how good the Fit Me powder was. These two together, lovely. Can we talk about the ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Lacquers? They come in a lacquer and a cream. I've been trying the lacquers. It's what I have on today in the color Cafe de Paris. Paris. It's so pretty. It looks like a full like juicy velvety like pigmented lipstick with a gloss on top. I also have the lip creams in this formula instead of it being like shiny. It's not. It's more creamy and I can't wait to try those. Speaking of those lip creams, they recently came in this ColourPop Valentine's Day collection package. The packaging's so cute. It looks like, I want to say like early 2000s tattoo designs mixed with old school like Valentine's Day cards that we used to put in our little kitty classroom Valentine's Day boxes. That's what these remind me of. I am wearing this collection today. This eyeshadow palette is amazing. This collection is probably in my top three all-time favorite makeup palettes. Just look at this eye makeup look. It's stunning, not to brag, but I use the color My Everything and with love. You have to be careful with the in the mood because as you can see, it's very fragile. And I use Too Cute in the center. This eyeshadow palette is called Secret Admirer and it's what I'm wearing, of course. It's so beautiful. I was so surprised that this dark matte pigmented eyeshadow is so blendable and not patchy because sometimes these darker shadows could be patchy on my eyes, but not this one. It's literally probably one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes, no joke. This is just gorgeous. I love red eyeshadows. If you like red eyeshadows, this would be amazing on you. It's like blush tones and reds in it. They also had the cutest little hairbrush in this collection. How cute is that? Gorge. Also, the highlighter I'm wearing today, it's like this blushy orange coral mix with peach and gold highlight from the Soul Highlight Palette. Smells like peaches and cream. It's in this Valentine's Day collection. It is so beautiful. Gorge. I can't even explain to you. It looks like orange soda mixed with peaches and cream kissed by the sun on your face. You get a huge palette. It smells amazing. The smell alone. I buy it for the smell. These blush palettes my favorite one is Kiss and Tell. This is my all-time favorite blush formula. And I got another one of these in here. So now I have a double when I run out. I'm using the Forever Yours color. These remind me of the early 90s, like Choking Hazard Polly Pockets, but in blush form. They're so cute. Look at that color. This color reminds me of the Raspberry Cream Icicle Popsicles. It's so beautiful. I have it on today. There's so many colors of them in this collection and they're all gorgeous. They also have the cream version of the lips I'm wearing. It is the lip lacquer, but it's not the lacquer. It's the lip cream and this is the lip lacquer and I cannot wait to use these. What else is in here is a strawberry lip mask duo. And not only that, there is a beautiful, glittery, pretty peach glitter, body glitter. Like, look at this. 
Let me shake it up. It looks like a lava lamp at first. It's like pink, gold, beautiful, smells like peaches, amazing. Everything in this collection was outstanding. I think this is one of my all-time favorite collections ever made. It's up there with the Beetlejuice by Mel. Another eyeshadow palette that I recently bought and discovered that's crawling its way to the top of my all-time favorites is this Beauty Creations Princess Jasmine themed eyeshadow palette. Just look at the size of this palette. Look at the colors. I'm kind of scared of the glitters, but it's so pretty. I've used some of them. This one is screaming my name, but they're so chunky. I'm gonna have to use them on my cheeks. Somewhere that's not close to my eyes, this looks exactly like the pink in this Valentine's Day, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, they're the same pink. That shimmery pink in the middle. But I use this for my Coraline makeup. I've, I need to use this on a live more often. This yellow color I've used and the blues are so gorgeous, so pigmented. This is such an affordable, great palette. I love Beauty Creations as a brand and it's amazing. Another ColourPop favorite has been this loose highlighter, which I guess no one really talks about them or tries them too often because they are kind of messy, but this is in the color In The Groove. It's gorgeous. Let me do a sample for you. It does get a little everywhere, so you have to be careful, but it's so worth it. That's just a light. Let me do a better one. It's so beautiful. It looks like, you know, in the Disney, like, promos with Tinkerbell and stuff and there's pixie dust. This is literal, this looks like real life pixie dust. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. I love it so much. It reminds me of a Disney princess. I love it. Now, last monthly favors I talked about, I think it was last monthly favors where I talked about the Revlon uh, hair dryer brush and that's great and all but this makes it even better this is the detangling spray primer by sally beauty supplies and it's comparable to dry bars prep rally which i haven't used that dry bars prep rally is like 30 bucks this is ten dollars you just spray it in your damp hair or just your hair and then you brush it gets all of the tangles out my hair is so thin and easily tangles and this makes my brushing my hair so much easier and it smells minty fresh. My boyfriend even steals this and uses it in his beard. It's that good. And just the minty feel of it in the morning when you're getting ready for your day is just so refreshing and amazing. If you've been checking out my makeup looks recently on Instagram, Amazon, and TikTok, you may have like noticed how much I love hair clips lately. Like I got these little butterfly clips that you can find everywhere, but I've been wearing lavender hair clips and they're so cute. I got these from the kids department on Amazon. I think I paid 13 or 14 bucks for all of these clips and they're so gorgeous. I keep wanting to match it with outfits and makeups because they're just so cute, kawaii. I can't believe these are for kids because I guess they are a little tiny, but they work great just for adult hairs as well. But you know me, I love cutesy and creepy at the same time, so this fits right in. This rainbow, oh, they're just so cute. I love it so much. I'll put the links to this and everything I'm speaking about down in the description box below because it's just so worth it. Look how cute these are and affordable. The music this month has been so good. I heard about this from Tana on, she was shouting this artist out on her Instagram stories and I fell in love with the song. It's called Drunk Text Me by Lexi Jade. It is so romantic and just, I can't even explain to you how, a lot of people I'm sure could relate to this song. It's so good. Her voice is like a beautiful songbird. It's a gorgeous song. Another music, artist that I found through Goldie Starling, the amazing makeup artist here on YouTube, is The Struts. This band is amazing. They f sound like they're from a different time era. Every single song is so good. I think the song Could Have Been Me is my all-time favorite, but all their songs are so good. And it's just fun to listen to this to get my morning started. I absolutely love all of their albums. You should definitely check them out if you're into like 70s rock and roll. So good. Even like while I was playing it, like making lunch and food for myself, my boyfriend was listening to it and like, who is this? This is amazing. And when he says something, cause he's a musician himself, I'm like, oh, this must, I may, must have made a good choice. Well, thanks to Goldie Starling, I wouldn't even for heard about the struts. A YouTube channel I have to shout out is Pro Home Cooks. Oh my goodness. If you want to learn how to cook for yourself, just the basics of cooking, 
just beginner stuff and how to make homemade stuff that's not too complicated and that's really inspiring to get creative in the kitchen but also beginner type stuff check out this youtube channel it is so good it inspires me to get in the kitchen more try new things i try to do a new recipe almost every single week but that's just my weird brain I always want to be creative on YouTube and in the kitchen. If I had all the time in the world, I would make my own YouTube channel cooking food, but unfortunately, I don't have 48 hours in the day. A podcast I've been obsessed with. If you're a fan of the show Catfish, this is the wildest catfish story I've ever heard in my life. I, can't, I don't want to give it away, but it is about a radio sh talk show host in England, and she goes through the craziest, lives through the craziest catfish story in real life, and she talks about it in this podcast. There's only about six episodes, but it's so worth it. It's so immersive. You're going to be hooked on it if you're into catfish investigation type stuff. It's called called Sweet Bobby is the po podcast. It's amazing. It's well thought out, well created. The guy's voice in it's so calming. I cannot speak any highly more of this podcast. You know me, I love podcasts. Because I could like get so much done while listening to podcasts like doing dishes, cooking, and doing my nails, and cleaning makeup brushes. A TV show that I have been a fan of recently and because I've been following the creator of this animation for I want to say almost 10 years on YouTube. I've been a fan of the animator Zach Hadel who originated from the podcast Sleepy Cabin and his own animations on YouTube for so long and he has a new animation called Smiling Friends. In creation with Mike Kusiak, it is a very dark comedy. I think it's available on premium Hulu. It is so like creepy and weird but good. It is just like I'm a fan of Zach's work and just his cool characters and how much work he puts into his character development and his skill at animations. Absolutely love it. If you're into dark comedy animations, you probably would like this. I've also been obsessed with the TV show Catfish while washing makeup brushes. I'm catching up on it. I'm still only on season five. I know season seven has like 40 episodes or more. <laughs> I love that show so much. Me and my best friend Chelsea always talk about it because we love that show. I think I got into that show because I met my boyfriend online and that's when I first got into catfish and I thought he was going to catfish me when I met him online before I met him in person. But after six months of like talking along with my boyfriend, I met him in person. It all worked out and we're living together. We've been together for seven years. So we didn't catfish each other. But I recently saw a movie this month that I was obsessed with and it's a Korean drama investigation, scary, dark, like just creepiness. It's called Forgotten and it's about this boy whose brother gets in a wild crazy accident and there's so many plots twists in this. There's more plot twists in this than any movie I've ever seen or any TV show, any type of media I've seen in my entire life. It's so well done and it's one of those plot twists that happens over and over and over again but you will net you won't like lose your spot. You won't like forget what's actually happening. Your brain retention is really good still on the plot twist and you understand it which is really hard to do when you're doing a creepy movie because there's no like this represents this or this represents this. It's really straightforward but so many plot twists. So well done. The acting's incredible. It's so thrilling. It's very good. I wanted to talk about my favorite recipes since I told you that I've been cooking or trying to cook new recipes every single week. But my favorite recipe this month has from been from Kelly Cooks Texas. I found her on TikTok and I cooked her pork chops. They're ancho chili slow cooked pork chops and I've never had a pork chop that's moist and not dry and that's not dry and this is so moist. It's so flavorful and I put it on top of I put mine on top of cheddar mashed potatoes. You can put it on top of rice or just anything and it's so good. It takes a little time to make, but it's so worth it. Another thing I've been obsessed with this month, and it's the first time I've actually painted my nails in two years. It looks like I'm not wearing nail polish now, but I am. I'm obsessed with gel nail polish. The Nail Addict, the sparkly, I don't have it with me right now, but this sparkly silvery color is my favorite. I have this like muted tone one, which is okay, but there's so many different colors. It's so good because they last around a week on me without peeling and then after a week they start to peel even though they say gel nail polish you know lasts for two weeks but I use so much soap 
and wash my hands so much with so much hand sanitizer in this panoramic city that mine only lasts seven days and that's it. But it's still worth it compared to traditional chippy nail polish to me personally and I absolutely love it. It's like a self care soothing thing for me personally is watching my shows, listening to my podcast and doing my nails and taking the time. And I need to find time to do stuff like that. You need to find time to take care of yourself, watch your favorite TV show or have a TV show to watch at night for at least 30 minutes to unwind and relax. Maybe Maybe you have a glass of wine, maybe you have your puppy, maybe you have your book. We all need something like that and I know I need to take care of myself lately and that's why I love doing these monthly favorites because we get to talk about things we love and we get shared together. Leave me a comment down below on something you've been loving lately, whether it's a song, an album, a TV show, a movie, a makeup product. I would love to hear it. I love hearing from you guys. I hope you had so much fun hanging out with me today. Again, we hang out every Tuesday night on Amazon Live. You should definitely come check out my show. There's so many people that enter our chat. We we have so much fun talking about TVs and movies and different products we love and it's really fun to hang out so I hope to see you there. If not, you could also write me at my PO box and if you want to support me even further in my makeup studio, I'll put an Amazon wish list down in the description box below. I love y'all and I hope you are having a great week. I had so much fun again chatting with you and I better get going doing more videos. I absolutely love this look today. I hope you do too. And all the products we've been talking about, I'm so excited for February, even though it's a shorter month. More stuff coming up ahead, still doing the Coraline makeup series, which I'm super excited about as well. And I'll see you later, friends. Bye.